Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 9, and we are streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Juan Fernandez. Tonight, some Southland renters are on edge as the state's eviction moratorium is set to expire in just two days. The LA County Board of Supervisors has taken action, but its authority is limited. Mm -hmm. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is here live to break it all down. Yeah, the, the situation here is that the board says that their hands are tied when it comes to residential eviction moratoriums, that the state law does not allow a full moratorium extension. The board did use their limited authority to extend some protections. The state eviction moratorium is set to expire. L.A. County's Board of Supervisors met Tuesday to take action, but those actions appear very limited. The only tenants that the county is now able to protect really is our commercial tenants. The supervisors voted to extend an eviction moratorium of commercial tenants through the end of January and extended protections against residential tenant harassment and retaliation. We're extremely um, concerned about the state moratorium expiring on, on Thursday. Larry Gross is with the Coalition for Economic Survival, a group that advocates for tenants' rights. Gross says many tenants are still facing financial struggles. All right, well, we'll get more on that story in just a bit, but the board also directed their staff to come back in 30 days with data on how to phase out those protections. Juan, back to you. All right, Tom, thanks so much. Governor Newsom continued the push to tackle California's housing crisis. Today, at an affordable housing development in Oakland, he signed 27 new bills into law. The governor says the new laws will provide 84,000 new units by expanding and streamlining production of affordable housing. The legislation also strengthens accountability for local governments and works to advance equitable housing policies. Congress.